hello 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 and welcome back to plans on planning here we are in my fitness planner we've already done the monthly spread and set out some monthly goals fitness wise now it's time to work on the week so yes we set the goals for the month but it's during the week that we actually get things done so let's go ahead and do that first and foremost and to do that i have some wonderful little stickers that i'm going to be using yes i'm kind of running out but that's okay get off my back no i'm just playing i'm gonna get it done because truthfully as you know i did buy new stickers but i realized i have stickers here that for whatever reason for whatever reason i'm just not using and i think because it's like they're pretty so you can see there's like whole sheets where i haven't touched one sticker and it's like they're pretty i don't want to mess them up that type of thing but sayonara so long farewell to that we're messing up the stickers all right so i actually want to do um the workout portion first and i just want to add some stickers for the workout so Mondays, I have workouts. Tuesdays, we do a cardio workout. So I'm going to add like the cardio sticker there. Uh, Wednesdays, workout. Uh, Thursdays, I got a new workout going, so I'm doing that, and it's a mix of cardio in there as well, but I'm going to save my cardio sticker for Friday, because I do cardio, well, I do like the full body, so I want to see, I'm, I'm looking for some um, weights, actually, yeah, here we go, some weights. I was just trying to find one that's basically a little easier to get to. All right, so we do weights here. Let me get this one. Just to make it match. And then Saturday, I have a nice little workout going. Oh, that's the sheet. Yeah, I have a nice little workout going Saturday. And then Sunday is actually all about the cardio because I go for um, walks. So I'm going to add a little cardio here. All right. So now let's get a little extra with it. Bam. Let's add some like inspo, no excuses. Oh, I like this one, you can do it. Which I'm gonna put here. All right, um, yeah, as you can see. All right, let's, let's little people walk in. Oh, I don't have any of my sneakers. I went to the sneaker one. Let's get a water bottle going. Some arrows that I totally put crooked. Oh my goodness. All right, fabulous. Some arrows. And I should pay attention to how I'm putting it on. There we go. It's to show forward progression. Oh, I used all the check marks, darn it. So keep moving. There we go. Alright, so we have that going on. 
And I think I'm gonna put another water bottle right over here. Bam. All right. Get our heart rate going. And heart rate go. There we go. Alright, so the bottom portion is worked out. Let's oh I'm actually gonna put a little gold sticker up in there. Well, I'm gonna put it here goals I don't know if I have anything in there all right so I found these stickers these stickers actually came with the um the planner and I don't use them so I figured they have some really cool inspo stickers so I was like I'm gonna freaking use them so that's what I'm doing using them Like this, believe in yourself. And I have this don't forget. And my don't forget is my new workout schedule. very important so I have some new classes that I want to go to so I have to make sure that I definitely go to the class because you know you get a habit you get into the habit of doing things and when you add something to it without reminding yourself that you added something new you can easily forget that new thing so therefore I had to make a little note that I have a new workout schedule going on that I want to try out this week, but essentially do it for the whole month. But it's going to take some reminding. So I'm reminding myself. All right. Now let's do the top portion of this. Unfortunately, I don't have any more um, like food stickers like they say you know breakfast lunch and dinner but I did really enjoy um actually writing it in it added a really nice um personal touch to it that I really liked so I think I'm going to continue that for this month as well as I add these stickers for like no reason it's just because I have them to be honest truthfully that's why I'm adding them I can be weird like that. It's my planner. I guess that is basically just because I have them. Alright, but I am going to write in breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Kind of kooky, but it's whatever. <laughs> All right, so nonetheless, like I said, we're going to write in breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I think I want to continue on and write it in the blue. So, Now, I also plan out my meals. So I basically know what I'm eating all week, to be honest. And that way, I stick to it. 
the best way to stick to something new is to make it as simple as possible. Because when there's a lot of components and a lot of parts and a lot of things that we have to do, that kind of makes us not want to do it. Because we're like, oh my gosh, it's so complicated. You know, I'm used to the way I had it already. I'm just going to stick with that. And that's basically how we mess up when it comes to adapting a new healthier lifestyle. And basically on Sunday, I have brunch and dinner. Uh, And that's more so because I can't wake up on time. (laughs) So what I'll do is I will meal prep on Saturday for the most part. Maybe sometimes on a Sunday I'll like finish it up. But I do most of the bulk of my meal prepping on Saturday. So this way I have everything already set to go in my fridge for the week. I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You know, so it's super easy for me to go to work. All I'm doing is, you know, pulling containers out of the refrigerator which like i said makes it super easy the only thing i'm actually prepping in the morning is like if i'm making my oatmeal and all i have to do is put that in a bowl add some peanut butter to it grab a banana i'm done breakfast is super simple like that lunch is already in a container any snack i have that's already in a container so like i said i'm just basically pulling containers out of the refrigerator because everything else is prepped and ready to go. So I wanna add some goals for this week. I want to do, um, to be realistic with the workouts. Okay, so if I don't work out on a specific day, so say like I didn't get to work out on a Monday, even though that should not happen. But if I didn't get to work out on a Monday, my, steps would probably equal about 3,000 steps. If we add a workout to it, of course, it's some type of, you know, like I'm doing some type of cardio workout. Like I told you, I like to do Zumba and then I have like cardio dance and things like that. Of course, that's going to kick my step count up, you know, tremendously high where I can make somewhere close to 7,000 steps that day, you know, six to 7,000 steps. So knowing that I want to count my steps outside of something that's going to increase my steps because I want to make sure that I'm actually getting up out of my desk and I'm not being um, sitting down all day so my goal is for my steps I want to um, 3,000 steps minus workouts that's my goal so like I said if I'm doing a workout, I can easily hit like 6,000 steps, but I want to make sure I at least have 3,000 in before I even get to the workout phase. So like I said, that's a challenge for me to get up out of my desk, move around. I mean, and going to the bathroom doesn't count. So no, because I'm not just going to get up and go to the bathroom all day to increase my steps, but it's actually moving around, getting up, getting water, water is important. So let me make sure I'm drinking enough water. Uh, drink four bottles of water. This adds to my step count because I have to actually get up to get to either get a new bottle or to refill my bottle. And my bottle is rather large. I have one liter bottle. So it's not like I'm drinking like the little um, small 16 ounce bottles of water. Because then it's like, wait, you're not getting enough water in. No, I have one liter bottles of water. So I want to drink about four of those for the day. Which would keep me nicely hydrated and ready to go. Um, And then I want to make sure that I stick to my new workout schedule. All right, so that's my challenge for the week because, like I said, it's something totally new and it's like it's super easy to fall off when you're doing something new just because it's like an out of sight, out of mind type thing. 
But if I have tons of reminders around to like, okay, make sure you get it done, make sure you get it done, make sure you get it done, I'm less likely to forget to actually get it done. So I'll have it, you know, I have all my workouts already scheduled, I'm ready to go, written down, and I just have to actually pay attention to them to make sure I get them done. Well, nonetheless, we are done here. We have everything going. I am ready and set to go for the week workout-wise or fitness-wise, healthy living-wise. If you have any questions about anything planner-related or even anything fitness and healthy living-related, you know, feel free to drop me a comment below. Or if you feel more comfortable, you can hit me up um, through email. If you have any questions of the sorts, you know, just go ahead and send them my way. I do have a fitness blog, so, I mean, there's information there as well, of course. It's on theroadtofitness.com. Definitely sign up for the email list so you don't miss out on anything at all because I'm giving tips and tricks about how to get this healthy living going, and I also send out recipes weekly, you know, to help you with your meal prep and whatnot. And then make sure you follow me on social media. Uh, so we can be friends and be buddies and laugh and joke and talk about all things stickers and washies all day long. All right. Nonetheless, I am done here. So I will see you guys later. Bye bye.